My name is A31 Real Maintenance, AJ. You're watching Hook to Cook. Oh, got one. Yeah, stay on, stay on. Oh, please, please, stay on. Oh, it's exactly two hours. Exactly two hours of nuclear blue. Stay on. I don't want to throw the nuclear blue anymore. Oh, stay on. Stay on. Got my, you know, my drag set pretty loose. Definitely got to play this guy. I don't know how he, oh, is he on? Oh, no, 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 no. Welcome back, guys. You are in for a treat today. Should be a really fun episode. We're attempting a challenge today. This challenge was started by Die Hard Fishing. He's calling it the Striped Bass Kalisa Slam. Kalisa released four glow patterns on the suspending minnow 110s, and the challenge is to catch one striped bass per lure in one session. Let's introduce the colors in the order that we're gonna be throwing them. First one we're gonna be throwing is the nuclear green. This one has a chartreuse belly. We haven't really put much time on the sand on this lure because it's one of two of the newest colors, but we're gonna start with this because we wanna get that pretty much out of the way. Make sure that we could take advantage of that morning bite. Next one is gonna be the nuclear blue. This one has the blue belly. This one might do pretty well. We'll see, we'll see. Again, just like the nuclear green, we haven't had much time on the sand with this one because it's such a new color. Next, this one we've definitely put through its paces. This one has caught us many striped bass in the previous episodes. You should definitely check those episodes out after this. And then last but not least, we're gonna be throwing the Old Faithful. This one is the Sardine Glow. This one pretty much kicked it off. This one has caught so many uh, surf perch and has caught a 32 inch striped bass in one of our previous episodes. So definitely ending the session on this because this one, especially if it gets sunny in the afternoon, that dark contrast on the back but the white belly should produce us a good bite. So that's the challenge, one fish per color in one session. Let's see if we can make this challenge a success. So are we really switching up the game plan? Each one of us. Do so. It's a new game plan. It's yeah. a new challenge. The challenge is everybody catches a striper on a different color. Yeah, it only works perfectly because there's four of us as anglers. Martin, Ian, Leroy, and I. And each one of us can get a color and we can knock out all the colors real quick just to, you know, because it's a team sport. It's a team effort that we're going through right now, right? Like we do things as a team, which is cool. It looks like Martin's throwing the nuclear blue to start off. Ian is throwing the nuclear pink. And then Leroy is gonna be starting off with the sardine glow. Got that. So it'll be cool if we get in a flurry, we can make sure that we try every single color in that flurry. And then also, if we want to complete this challenge as individuals, we definitely can too, if the bite's good enough. First part of the challenge, right here, nuclear green. So see Leroy's right there to my right, so is Ian. So what we're doing is we're strategically combing the beach since these fish tend to school. If one of us hooks up, we'll continue to move down and uh, increase our chances together. Synergistically speaking, when you guys work together, man, endless possibilities. Boom. On that nuclear pink? All right. Let's try to close this up. We've been fishing for five minutes. First one on the front treble, off stop hooks. Let's go. All right, brother. Yeah, we're just estimating probably a 19 inch fish. Solid, bro. Yeah. So that, again, that was the nuclear pink. Let's go. Nuclear pink's off the table already. Let's get him on the green, the blue. 
and the sardine. So I'm, I'm guessing Ian's gonna keep on throwing that. That makes a lot of sense. We're still playing leapfrog. Probably been fishing now, Ap approaching 20 minutes. Ian got a fish and uh, we're continuing to work down the bank. Oh no, we're burning daylight. Oh, this nuclear green's uh, proven to be not as on fire as the nuclear pink was. For now, in this small case study of Ian's one fish. <laughs> and everyone casting lures, so we'll see. This green can still prove itself, but it's casting good. The wind is actually really relaxed right now. If anything, it might be helping us. Come on, nuclear green. I'm starting to think that the nuclear pink would have already gotten bit. All right, we're approaching an hour with the green. It's so tempting to call an audible and start casting that nuclear pink. We are at exactly one hour of throwing this bait. Yeah, this looks really good. Really good. See, there's a sandbar and a big pronounced trough right in front of the sandbar. Really nice. So between the sandbar and I, there's a nice deep trough where sand crab tend to get hung up on their way back to the ocean. And these striped bass really know how to capitalize these areas. So we'll definitely give this a thorough fish through. This spot is nice. I'm gonna really put some time right here. A lot of channels that these fish can actually move in and out of right here. Should be here. If there's anywhere they should be, it's right here. Work it slow in the strike zone. Give it some pauses every now and then. A lot of the times the fish will hit that pause. You'll notice sometimes when you're catching up on your slack, you sometimes have a fish on. Classic jerkbait bite. There you go, there you go. First fish, first fish. Hit it real close. See, right where it was supposed to be, right in this trough. Let him take a little bit of drag, drag him up. And then in terms of catch and release on these guys, um, I'm definitely gonna keep my first one. And then in between, fish two through three, are going back. Oh, this is a good one, unless he's wrapped up in seaweed. This is a real good one, guys. I'm not able to move this guy that well. Oh, he's got a lot of fight. This is a good fish. This is a really good fish, guys. I haven't fought a striper this long in a while. Oh, geez. That's a good fish, come on. Oh, that is a great fish. This thing's fighting so well. I think, yeah, he is wrapped in seaweed. Yep, wrapped in seaweed. And, and the front hook hit, hit the head. Jeez, it makes it so difficult when you don't hook them straight on. All right, guys, first one on the green. <sighs> Good, feels really good to get that off, huh, off the list. So green is check mark, big check mark on green. And then now it's gonna be all about catching it on the blue and then pink and then sardine glow. So mission accomplished here. Again, I'm gonna keep one and then release the middle ones. Uh, and then I'll keep the last one that is of course legal size, which is 18 inches. So let's unhook this guy and get a measurement. So first one is 19, well over 19, solid. It's a good keeper size, guys. Enough for a meal for maybe four people, three if you're really hungry. 
<laughs> so I'm not gonna film this part, but you know what's going down. Put them to sleep and then bleed them. And for the next bait, we're gonna go for the nuclear blue. Nuclear blue. And then of course, nuclear pink. So nuclear blue going on right now. All together, an hour and 12 minutes roughly. Ah, uh, no, maybe in exactly an hour. Like, more close to an hour. It took this nuclear green. But at the same time, I was hunting spots, casting it in different areas. So you can't always isolate the color when the bite is so sporadic. But I think we've located some fish, so that's that's the good news. Oh, looks like Martin made it over here. I'm eager to see what they've got, if anything. But again, he's filming separate. He's been a little bit closer to Leroy, so maybe if Leroy hooked up, you'd know about it. If any of them hooked up, you would know about it. So make sure you're subscribed to Martin as well. But we're on that nuclear blue. Come on, nuclear blue. You can do it! Power! <laughs> like Mike says, power! You get extra oomph on your cast when you yell power when you cast. Yeah, so Martin's on blue and so am I. Because he started with that color and hasn't gotten one yet. Wonderful, Leroy got one yet. So as a team, we've caught fish on two lures so far. The nuclear pink and the chartreuse green, nuclear green. So at least it's a good experiment too to see what hits at what time of day. So that's a nice little thing that the spice to this challenge added is we are all throwing different colors to start instead of all starting with the same color. We get to see if there's a little bit of a preference towards a certain color because we're all throwing it at the same time. So this is actually turning out to be a really cool experiment. By the end of the day, it'll be really interesting. Ian caught his fish maybe 10 minutes in. So far, the blue is blanking and the green got one in about an hour. Oh, Martin's on, Martin's on. Hell yeah, Martin's on, on the, on the nuclear blue. Yep, this is still the spot that that last fish came on the yellow. Jeez, I got a good cast on that one. All right, so you get to kick the blue off the list, right? Exactly, so first fish of the day, not a big one, but. Hey, it just says striper. It says striper, so we move on to the next color. Move on to the next color. I was on blue, cause I got the, I got one on the green so far. So just as an update for you guys. Yeah. We'll keep on fishing, this is a good spot. Take advantage of the lower light conditions. Jeez, these fish are hitting close. Come on, if Martin can do it and his nuclear blue, this one can do it too. So they're here. Oh God, Ian's on one. Well, if you're keeping score, nuclear pink too. Yep. And uh, one for the blue, one for the yellow or chartreuse. So. They basically doubled up. <laughs> 17 inches. Going back. There you go. All right, we'll see how how much Ian can run up the numbers today on that nuclear pink. He seems content on throwing that, and I don't blame him. And if anybody chooses to join this challenge, tag me on Instagram and let me know and let Adam know if you already have accomplished the one fish on four different lures in one day. Striped Bass, Kalisa Slam. Tag us on Instagram, and if you're doing a YouTube video, drop us a, a link to it, and we'll link it in the video, in this video, so that we can kind of keep track of all the videos that end up doing this. That'd be cool. Now, when they hit close, what do you guys think? Do you think they're just up close feeding on sand crabs, or are they, seeing your lure when it's way far out there and are they chasing it in and hitting it last minute before it leaves the strike zone? So leave that in the comments below. What do you guys think? Are these fish chasing the lure from afar or are you just swimming it by and they're already in shallow and they attack it? And more conditions, there's a big coefficient today. It goes from a negative tide to a positive four four foot tide today so a pretty good swing 
just as an update, 20 minutes into throwing this bait, the nuclear blue, Martin, his next color that he's throwing right now is the nuclear pink. So we got two people throwing the nuclear pink right now and one person throwing the sardine glow, which is Leroy. Another cool thing about this experiment is yeah, we, we don't have to ask ourselves the question of, oh, at 9.30, if I would have thrown the green or if 10 o'clock, I should have thrown the sardine glow. You know, this kind of data really allows us to pick the most probable colors at what time of the season, during what time of the day, and the conditions. Good data to have. So about two hours into actual fishing, still that one fish, still banking on the idea that the rising tide should help them become more mobile and they actually want to feed. Kind of closer to the late morning. 40 minutes, no bites yet on the nuclear blue. But we're still moving, we're covering a lot of water. We should run into some sort of fish. Well, looking forward to be done with this nuclear blue. <laughs> Come on, fish. Bring us home to the nuclear pink and the sardine glow. Bring us home. Three on the nuclear pink, huh? Well, that's pretty definitive. They love that nuclear pink. Man. Well, we're moving holes and I'm officially one hour into the blue. It took me one hour to catch on the nuclear green. Now I'm on the nuclear blue and we're walking to another hole. So I'm definitely gonna be over an hour on this thing. Hour and one minute. The blue has gotten bit. The chartreuse has gotten bit. The pink has gotten bit. Only person throwing the sardine glow so far is Leroy. Um, he's back there. So yet to determine if he's caught one yet on the sardine glow. But that's the only one that hasn't gotten bit yet, which is a surprise. I just have a feeling that later in the day, that lure can come in clutch. Oh, Ian's on again, on the nuclear pink. That's four on the nuclear pink. Wow. Wow. Woo! Fourth one, Fourth one on that nuclear pink. Jeez, bro. Wow, and he ate it real good, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's a keeper for sure. Yeah. All right. Keeping that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice looking fish. Look how he ate it, too. Oh. Love seeing that. Let's go. Wow, fourth one on the nuclear pink. Wow. And he just keeps following up on the places that this blue has already been. That's fascinating. Something about that nuclear pink. It's, you know, it's a good enough sample size to make an observation. Four to one on all the other colors. Maybe it's just this time of season they're targeting, really honing in on that pattern for some reason or another. Nuclear blue. One hour and 11 minutes has elapsed. And we sit and watch Ian with the sleigh fest on the uh, nuclear pink. Ain't that something. Well, nuclear pink's my next color, so come on, hurry up, blue. Get bit. I mean, it'll be good to have in the arsenal when the conditions align for a blue. But what conditions do you think would call for a blue? Let me know in the comments. Maybe when the sardine are in? Well, after seeing what's going on with the nuclear blue and how we are an hour and 20 minutes into this one, what do you guys think of the lineup? Going with the chartreuse first, then going with the blue, then going with the red, and then the sardine glow. What would you guys have done and why? Leave that in the comments if you guys would have done it differently or if you guys would have just kept it the same order that we're throwing. Chartreuse, then blue, then pink, and then sardine. What do you guys think given the conditions? Cause I'm trying to get bit with this blue and it ain't happening. Martin got one on the blue. 
but so far your boy ain't doing so good with the blue. We are an hour and 30 minutes into the nuclear blue. So combined two and a half hours of fishing, one fish on the chartreuse. That's crazy. Never would have guessed. In Die Hard's video, if you haven't watched that yet, you'll be surprised how he does on the nuclear blue. You'll see. You guys check out that video. Link below. Let's go blue. Let's go blue. You're my boy blue. It's probably safe to say we might have picked off another fish if we were throwing the nuclear pink the whole time. That nuclear clear blue is just not doing it for them but I still want to grind away using it I know I have the nuclear pink and the sardine glow to fall back on we're not going to deviate from the plan or the challenge oh here we go nuclear blue yes oh he came off oh he came off Ugh. no Dang it, that was my shot. I don't know if my drag was too tight. I need redemption. Please be a school right there. Finally got bit on the nuclear blue and he didn't stay pinned. Jeez. Ah, I said it too hard or too fast, I don't know. I've been on this bait for now, going on two hours. One hour and like 40 minutes. Damn this nuclear blue. Going on two solid hours of nuclear blue, not hooking up. Just that one miss right now. I thought I had him, but not so much. No confidence in nuclear blue right now. None. What? I know. One hour, 53 minutes, nuclear blue. Wow, did not expect this. Oh, got one. Yes, yeah, stay on, stay on. Oh, please, please, stay on. Oh, it's exactly two hours. Exactly two hours of nuclear blue. Stay on. I don't want to throw the nuclear blue anymore. Oh. Stay on, stay on. Got my, you know, my drag set pretty loose. Definitely gotta play this guy. I don't know how he, oh, is he on? Oh no, 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 no. I hope he ate it well. I hope he ate it well, please. Please, 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 please. Yes, yes. Woo! Yeah! All right. No more nuclear blue. Ha! Oh. Woo! No more blue, baby. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's take this nuclear blue off. Thank you for playing and eating that nuclear blue. You're the best. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now entering nuclear pink town. Nuclear pink slipped on, put the blue back in the Cali cover. If you guys want 20% off the Cali covers, link is below. Promo code hook to cook at checkout saves you 20% on the Cali covers while we're at it. If you guys want to join this challenge, See if you can catch four of your own on the four different glow patterns. Join the Striped Bass Kalisa Slam. Link is below. All right guys, after that last fish, it was still a grind. Still did not end up landing one on the nuclear pink. Martin ended up getting one on the sardine glow. Oh, Ooh, it's close. Earlier in the morning, Leroy, got one on the sardine glow as well. 
Yeah, but you did get one on the sardine glow. You did get one, okay. but a 14 inch. Yeah. And then also this happens, so definitely be careful when you are out there on the surf, fishing for a long time. Keep in mind that your body's a little oh, bit more one. fatigued. Your oh, mind wants that. to get out there on the water, but your body might not be ha able to one. handle when two waves converge and boom, hits you. When it's all said and done though, we took the challenge as a team and we accomplished it. So it was a nice little twist on this challenge by Adam, Die Hard Fishing. In terms of the individual challenge, did not go as planned. The water conditions definitely took a turn for the worst for throwing lures. Check this out. Conditions are definitely ugly. Woo! All right, so let's do something fun right now. So check it out. Look at the water now. And in three seconds, I'm gonna show you the water this morning. Three, two, one. And this is what the water looked like this morning. Crazy to see the difference. Back to right now, back to this morning. Now, this morning. One more time, now, this morning. Huge difference. But at the end of the day, it was a great time with friends. We had a memorable experience, not just on the water, but also off the water, where Martin takes an eight by eight challenge. <laughs> Are you really doing the eight by eight? I could. You could? I could. Is challenge accepted? Yeah. Let's do it. You wanna see him eat an eight by eight? <laughs> I ain't stopping at no toilets <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> Martin's meat and Martin's burger. So he's gonna put that in that to make an eight by eight. Boom, skadoosh. Look at that. Pow. Show it, show that eight by eight. Ba -ba -boom. Oh. A little messy. Jeez. No, I, I, I'm confident, I'm confident you're gonna do it. But it's just how are you gonna eat, like, you can't even put your mouth on that. Bet. It's a lot of meat to put your mouth on. Well, was I supposed to start? Yeah. All right, all right. What that mouth do? What that mouth do, homie? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Boom. Well, dude, he, dude, you didn't even chew that. My wife says I'm a human trash can. Dude, you did not even chew. That is impressive. Well earned. Meal for men. Show us the burger. What's left of it? A little less than half now. Dude, you're a you're a machine. Lock the door, those guys are weird. All right, I, I believe you. Did you, you, oh, shut up, it's gone. Oh. No, where'd you put it? So we're telling Martin he needs to have a channel or rename his channel just Martin's World because he all the crazy stuff that happens as a, a postman, crazy stuff, uh, things that he finds, things that people do, things that people do in the specific city that he works. And then also, a competitive eater. Mm -hmm. Look at that, that's freaking, that only took like five minutes or less. An eight by eight. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my, my double double. I don't deserve a four by four today. But again, guys, this is definitely one for the books. If you want to join the Kalisa Striped Bass Slam, you can buy all four lures, kalisafishing.com, save 10% using the promo code hook to cook when you order online. Again, if we were to use the nuclear pink pretty much the whole time, we probably each would have caught at least three or four. Definitely, definitely. But hey, it is what it is. Tried the challenge. Now it's up to you guys to take the challenge as well. We'll catch you guys on the next episode.